Bitcoin, we start with the one hour chart. First of all, if you refer to our analysis in my last video, we have been looking for the price to drop and this is exactly what we get. That's why when the price was within this move, I mentioned we can expect the price to continue. And as what we mentioned, we want the price to drop to three, four, five, six, zero. The price couldn't tag exactly, but almost was there. And after that, we get the reversal, okay? And even if you refer to our analysis, when the price was within this move, I mentioned we can have entry above this in case the price reverse from there. As you can see, the price didn't reverse and drop. That's why I mentioned it's not really good trade setup, but in case the price reverse and we didn't get the proper trade setup from there, we can look for entry, okay? Anyway, the price didn't tag, drop and reverse as a sharp move, correct flag, okay? Now we want to see what's the next And How about the 15 minute? If I move to 15 minute, even there was no trade setup for 15 minutes, all right? First, we move to higher time frame. We want to see what's the next. If we move to daily chart, because if we refer to our analysis, we mentioned two ways we can look at this. Whether we call this one as a flat in relative to this move, and we were expecting the price to going to drop. Okay, how deep it can go? At least the price need to retest the previous low. Then from there, we need to see whether the price can break 28,500 or not. Okay, how deep it can go? We can put over free here, we get the proximity, okay? I see a lot of the people that are asking is going to the 25, okay? It depends, okay? That's why I'm not telling how deep it can go. The only thing I say is we need to see the breakout of the previous low. Then from there, we can make a decision and approximately we can know how deep it can go. Similar to one hour chart. If you refer to our analysis, after the price drop, before breakout, I mentioned how deep it can go, okay? Almost the price was there, right? Now, even for the daily chart, we are not going to look at how deep it can go right now because the it, price haven't dropped yet. And the only thing is we want to see how we can look at the chart. Then from there, how we can look for trade. The thing is we have two options to look for, whether this is a flat, and we can expect this one either to enter deeper correction and the, or the, the price drop from here. But from there, we need to see whether the price can break 28 or 500 or not, okay? And if this is the flat in relative to this, I don't think the next down move is as deep as what we have here, okay? And the second thing, can we consider this one as a start of the up move and this is the correction for continuation or not? We have two options that are done. both of them that are opposite each other. And what I believe, I believe if the price is going to reverse from here, mostly this one can turn to more complex correction. Okay, that's why the best thing is if the price drop, retest the previous low, then from there reverse. But which one, we cannot confirm. But the only things for us is we read the chart, we know about the different possibility, then we at least we know how to trade and how to manage. Okay, how deep? It can go, it's just, just we follow the chart, all right? And in this case, I move to forward chart. And as we can see, if I remove everything, as what we expected, we have been looking for this one turn to a dip. And right now, we put in relative to this. We, as we mentioned, based on one over chart, this one can turn to a deeper move, yes. But right now, I'm looking for the buy based on lower time frame. If I get the buy, I will take it and I will start to manage it. If this is the buy is a re reversal and it's going to retest the top, it's good. If I see it's not moving in my direction, I just uh, take out the trade. As simple as that, all right? Then if I put my lines here, everything is similar to what we explained in our analysis. Now we are within this correction. We need to see the breakout. The breakout for the long term either up or down. Because I mentioned based on daily chart, we have two options we are looking for. Right, and the breakout of these lines, we are not going to look for buy with the breakout of the lines. They are indicative, just they are showing us the how the correction fall. Okay, rather than that, nothing. Because if I remove everything, this is what I'm looking for. I'm look putting this one relative to this. I'm looking for the flat. I want to see the reversal. If this is the start of the up move. Okay, in this case, we move to one hour chart. Based on weekly, I mean, forward chart, we don't have anything to discuss yet. And if I move to one hour chart, and as we mentioned right now, I'm looking at this. 
if I get any trade setup for buy, I will take it. And I will start to manage it. I'm looking for buy. And I want to see whether the price can break 38K or not. Okay, it depends how sharp the price reverses from here. If it continues a sharp move, we can look for the breakout of 38K and continuation. But if the price continues as a corrective move, we know we need to, I mean, we know that this one can turn to flat as a first correction for one more drop. Whether we do, this is the one we're going to get or the price can reverse from here, we cannot confirm right now after we get this up move. Then what we do, we take the trade, we start to manage it. All right, and the since if you put this low in relative to the previous one, if you refer to the indicators, we have make did see if you refer to this one, we have a divergence, but make did doesn't show me the divergence. That's why when the price was within this move, I mentioned after the breakout of this low, I mentioned wait for the continuation. The possibility of the divergence may can disappear, made the divergence disappear, as you can see here. Make the is not there anymore. That's my that's why when the after we get this down move this sharp, I mentioned we cannot rely on the divergence. We have to wait for the trade setup. We, uh, first, we have to wait for the correction to see whether it can give us a trade setup or not. We get the correction, there was no trade setup price price drop. But based on the first indicators, I have a divergence, but the second one doesn't show me divergence anymore. All right. I have two different results. All right, but I'm not going to care about that. I'm looking at this. If I get any trade setup for buy, I will take the trade and I will start to manage it. Okay, it doesn't mean this one is going to give me a reverse out. May this one move a bit higher, as I explained, then drop. That's why we should know how to manage it. And if we get any trade setup for buy from here, we're looking for continuation as a shop. If it turns to a corrective move, we know about the second possibility. Okay, we will have a flat. All right, and right now, as I mentioned, as I say, we're looking for this one. If we get any trade stuff for buy, we take the trade. And how about if I move to 15 minutes? After we get the reversal, if we can see based on 15 minutes, there was a divergence. That's why we could look for the price to reverse, but there was no trade setup to look for buy. How about the five minute? The only way if anyone could take the trade from here, all right? For sure, this is a good idea if anyone could get a trade from here by putting entry above the top. Because what is the risk? This is what they get, the risk. And this is what they get. And if there is a continuation, it can be more than that. Okay? Anyway, this is for those who trade based on lower time frame. And right now, based on one hour chart, we're looking at this move. If we get any trade set off for buy, we will take it. How high it can go? If there is a movement after that, I will highlight it. In this case, we just follow the chart. If I see any update, I will share. Thanks.